So here we are. Cut in half five grapefruit and one lemon and juice them both. The juice goes directly into your pot on the stove. Remove everything with the pips except the white pith from the grapefruit peelings and place pith and pips in a cheesecloth separate from the juice. Slice thin the peelings with the pith into nice trim little bits and put them in the juice part of your pan. Add three times the amount of water that there is liquid in your pan from the juice. Cover and stand overnight. On the next day, bring everything in the pan to a boil and I boiled everything for about an hour. Remove the cheesecloth of pulp and pips and discard, but return the bits of rind into the liquid and then heat your sugar in a 175 degree oven, which I put one less cup of sugar than there is liquid. Stir until dissolved and bring everything to a boil until the liquid reaches 220 degrees Fahrenheit or until it gels on your cold plate test. This should be about an hour or less, maybe even less for you. And the cold plate test is where you dial up a little bit of marmalade onto the plate and it gels well. Now to pot and seal. Ladle the marmalade into your clean warm jars and clean all around the rims for a nice seal. And then put on the lids which are warm as well and then put them into the hot water covering the jars well with water. Keep it simmering heat, cover and let it come to a boil for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, turn off the fire and leave for a few more minutes. Remove your jar from the pot and leave all the jars quite alone for a full day. Be sure they are properly sealed and you have a perfect marmalade.